Good evening, Mephelia. The picture I saw of Mephelia was a beautiful woman with dark complexion, prominent nose, and a full mouth. Though not her real name, she still existed. Mephelia's name has been changed. Why? Probably to protect her family. You see, Mephelia was murdered by a mob of ten men who traveled seven days to enter her remote village of Kwai, a village located near the western highlands in the Anga province at Papua New Guinea. According to Lutheran missionary Anton Lutz, who lives at Papua New Guinea, this village, not having access to roads, phones or radios, and limited airstrips, is defenseless to outside enemies. The picture I saw also showed a very frightened look in Mephelia's beautiful eyes as she gazed downward with her thin arms wrapped tightly at her breast. Her horrific journey to her violent death is as follows. Mephilia was twice wrongfully accused of practicing Sanguma, the Papua New Guinea word for sorcery. I say wrongfully accused because the belief in sorcery or any practice of black magic to manipulate nature in any harmful way is superstition. This superstitious belief is tightly woven into the fabric of people who live in these rural communities with patriarchal societies, limited income, limited education, and limited health care. Mephilia was first accused by her neighbor villagers in January of 2015 with three other people and were held hostage waiting to be murdered. She was named because the villagers hired a glass woman, or otherwise known as a female witch doctor, to call out the Sandumas, or the people that they believed were practicing sorcery or black magic. However, Epenis Nili, the co police commander at Enga Province, organized a rescue effort paid for by the provincial government to send himself, missionaries, and community leaders to Kauai to investigate. This effort included some scientific education and getting the glass woman to admit that she ripped the villagers off to the tune of 2,800 U.S. dollars. The villagers and the glass woman held a ceremony where everyone literally turned over a stone. This ceremony signified that everyone present would not turn to such violence again. Even the glass woman participated saying that she now had seen the light. Mephilia and the other three captives were freed. The rescue was a success for a short time. Later in early May of that same year, a mob of 10 men set out from their village and traveled seven days to Kauai. They believed that Mephilia used sorcery to cause a measles outbreak, killing quite a few people. Her family could only watch in horror as they were prevented from saving her when the mob hacked Mephilia to death with machetes and axes. One can imagine that she screamed loud and fought hard because she knew she was innocent to her dying breath. Penis Nili asked for funding to travel to that region again. This time, he wanted to bring up to 12 policemen and a doctor. Epenis was mad. He wanted the body exhumed and the people arrested. The family, not wanting vengeance, preferred to work with the police because if Mephilia's killers were brought to justice, they would suffer the death penalty. The death penalty has since been repealed in January of 2022 because it was not an effective deterrent to commit egregious crimes. Sadly, I don't know the outcome of this case, but what I do know is that Mephilia will not be forgotten by those who loved her and those of us who care enough to share her story. Thank you.